Well, hi, everybody. You know, one of my favorite flying machines was my Flying Shark. It was ducted fan-powered and actually floated even on the water without damage to the radio. I flew it many times over the years out on the lake and even landing it on the boat and it always kept going, but alas, it didn't survive the fire. Well, I like it a lot, so I began searching for months, actually, for a new one, but I just can't find one. But what I did find was a flying shark from Banggood. Well, it looks simple enough to build, so I ordered one, and I'm going to show you the build and the flights. You know, while searching Banggood's site, I decided to try one of their FlySky radios, too. So we'll take a look at that one. I also thought I would try to video the shark from above with my Blade 350 quad. It had quite shaky video when I tried to video my night helicopter, so I noticed a gyro gimbal on Banggood for under 40 bucks, so I decided to try that, and we'll look at that too. Well, first, let's look at the radio. It's the 6-channel FXI6X 2.4 GHz AFHDS 2A. It came with an IA6BA receiver. Both the transmitter and receiver have dual diversity antennas. The transmitter has one in the handle and one in the normal antenna slot. This gives good range with the transmitter at any angle. Well, the receiver also has dual diversity antennas and I range checked it and it checked great. You know, the programming is really easy, allowing all the needed mixing, switch selections, variable knobs, mixing endpoints, and even reads the plane's receiver voltage. It's quite a nice unit with some very smooth sticks and a nice thin profile for holding it. So I elected to use my Tower Pro 9G servos with the project. They can also be bought on Banggood. I used the BL Heli 20 RS speed control with an added BC I had on hand as they don't come with the BC. But for four or seven dollars you can't complain. Okay, let's take a look at the Shark. It is foam built airplane and I put it together in about two days. But one thing you'll need and will not be able to build this without is some foam tack glue. I wouldn't have been able to install the fuselage bottom and tops without it. So that's the extra that can be got at WM Park Flyers website. So although the shark says it's to use a 11.1 volt battery, I noticed the motor got quite warm with it when running only 30 seconds. So I decided to use a 7.4 Venom 2000 milliamp instead. It seems to have quite a bit of power, so we're going to see. Okay, all done. Well, let's take a look now at the PTZ gimbal setup. I mounted it to the base of my Blade 350 quad and fashioned a camera holder for the Firefly 1080p 60fps camera. I downloaded the simple BGC GUI so I could set the limits and adjust the camera holder to be at the top of the assembly, allowing me to aim the camera down and not take so much space. Well, the GUI program allows all sorts of programming. I added Adam's foam blocks to my landing gids to keep the camera from touching the ground. This gimbal with BGC V3-1 controller has pins and servo connectors to adjust the camera in flight to any angle with the transmitter, but I can't do that with this first version of the blade, only wanted the camera pointed down anyway. I have to tell you I'm impressed immensely with the way this camera gimbal works, especially for the money. So let's take it out for a flight and check the radio, the shark, the speed controller, and the gyro gimbal all at once. Here we go.
Okay, folks, we're going to go out and fly the shark. A big difference today, we've got snow on the ground, 24 degrees, about six mile an hour wind. Here we go. <laughs> so there you go folks, the flying shark from Banggood flies pretty good. Well, as far as pros and cons go, there is actually nothing I found wrong with the PTZ gyro gimbal or the FlySky radio. They work great and I recommend them. The shark's pros are that it flies pretty docile and it's actually not too hard to assemble. You can do it in a couple of days. The cons are that the prop does not fit the prop adapter. They need to change the prop to fit that. And the control horns are too short to actually push through the foam, so I made mine from servo arms. Other than that, Great stuff. So thanks for watching, happy flying, and we'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Thanks.